let's take a quick look at the two ways you can view nested effects within your timeline. For this, we're going to use the two arrow button icons located at the bottom of the timeline. When we enable the record track selector and click the arrow that points down, called step in, the timeline changes so you only see the contents of the nest below the topmost effect. This is simple nesting view. If two or more effects exist on a clip, you can click the step in button until there are no more effects to step into. And then to track how far you've stepped in, just look at the track selector panel. By default, this nest level indicator appears below the video track selectors. To exit simple nesting view, we can click the arrow that points up called step out. You know you stepped all the way out when your entire sequence reappears in the timeline. So what if you want to access nested effects in the timeline, but without isolating the affected clip? In this case, we'll hold the Alt key on Windows or Option key on the Mac, and then click the Step In button. This will enable Expanded Nest View and reveal the effect that's underneath the outermost effect. If you applied more than two effects to a clip, you can continue to Alt or Option click the Step In button. Notice the nested effects appear above the outermost effect in the timeline. So in this example, the mask effect is the topmost effect, the resize is next, and the first effect that was applied is the color correction effect. To exit Expand in SV, just Alt or Option click the Step Out button. So to use Simple Nest View, click the Step In and Step Out buttons. To use Expand in SV, Alt or Option click the Step In and Step Out buttons.